Hey everybody, it's Michelle from Lucky 13 Fitness. I am here live one more time for you. Uh, today we're going to be doing a how-to video on a basic exercise, the squat. Um, the squat has many, many variations, but no matter which one you're doing, you want to make sure that you are properly set up executing the proper mechanics. Before we get into the meat of the video, I want to remind you to like Lucky 13 Fitness Facebook page, subscribe to our live videos, and if you are watching a replay of this, do put your questions or comments in the comments section below because I will be checking those. Um, and with no further ado, here we go. Today I have to help me out our co-owner and trainer, Jen, also everybody known as the woman with the perfect squat. So... I am going to cue Jen through a couple of things. The first thing we want to do is pay attention to her foot stance on a squat. So she wants to go between heel and shoulder width apart, no closer or no wider. She can turn her toes out a little bit if she wants to. Improper squat stance would be way, way too wide for a traditional squat or very, very narrow, more narrow than hip width apart. So she's going to get into that first stance, hip to shoulder width apart. Second thing we're going to address is as she pushes back through her hips, she's always making sure to keep her chest and her shoulders higher than her butt, okay? And as she returns up, she's driving through her heels. So she's keeping her chest proud and open, shoulders up, and pushing back through her hips. Improper would be a lot of people bring their chest down to the ground, so they end up with a flat back. This right here, what Jen's doing, Jen, do that a couple more times for me. This is kind of false depth on a squat. What happens with many, many people, especially as they're trying to do them fast or maybe even get into jump squats, is they think they want to lower their butt as far as possible to get the best maximum squat, and they end up with their shoulders the same height as their rear, or even their ass is up in the air more than their shoulders. So I suggest picking a point straight in the wall ahead of you and keeping your chest up and open as we Proper form one more time with those open shoulders, and hips back, coming down and all the way up. So the next thing we want to talk about is what's going on with your feet. Now Jen's in sock, stocking feet, which I think is great for squatting. Um, when you're in sneakers, sometimes a little of this can go. She's got her whole foot on the ground, but she's really making sure she goes back into that low squat to really drive through her heels. And this is a feel thing. So you have to, I can't see any difference, but here I'm gonna cue Jen to push through her heels, push away from the ground, and come up to that standing position. So the weight of your body should go to the rear part of your foot and you're pushing through those heels and you should feel that heel to glute connection, okay? We talk about the squat being a really good exercise for building a nice strong ass, but it only is gonna do that if you're really working the muscles that you're supposed to work. So I'm gonna have Jen show you a common mistake, which is when people kinda of come forward into their toes and you're gonna to see her knees lean over her toes they're getting, again, all that weight on their toes. They're leaning forward and getting low, but again, we're missing the whole point of the squat, which is to go through your heels. The last piece we're gonna need you to listen on, breathing mechanics. So with every exercise, and again, with, you know, with body weight squats, you may not notice this right away, but the heavier load that you're lifting, whether it's kettlebell, dumbbell, barbell, whatever it is, maybe you have a weight vest on, um, your breathing mechanics are going to make a difference. And it's the difference between being able to complete the lift and completely fail the lift. So we want to start those breathing mechanic patterns and habits very early on when you are executing body weight squat. So basic breathing mechanics, we're going to inhale through the nose as she descends to the floor, filling her belly full of air, tightening through that core, and then as she raises up to the tall position, she's going to exhale audibly and forcefully, okay? So we should be able to hear both the inhalation and the exhalation. We're going to have her show right now. So inhale, filling the belly full of air. Exhale, coming all the way up. The big forceful exhalation coincides with driving through those heels. And if it feels like her breathing is overtaking my voice here, which is hard to do, uh, that's a good thing. She wants to really focus on that exhalation. Good. All right, so lastly, we're going to put this to the test. I'm going to have her do one, a heavier load on the barbell. Are you willing to do that for us? I guess so. All right, so right now she's gone from body weight to loading 135 pounds. So you're going to see 
how all those mechanics come together and how her breathing especially is really, really important with this heavier load, okay? So she's gonna go through a set of a couple here for us. Driving through her heels, her hips come back, her chest stays very open, especially with that barbell. She's inhaling, big, exhalative force, and down and back up. Sitting back through her heels and all the way back up. Those look awesome. So she is squatting to the box, which is one of the types of variations that you can use with the barbell, especially that heavy. She started the set before I was here, so it's a nice thing to do when you're squatting by yourself, um, a little bit of a safety, safety mechanism. Anyway, that is a quick video on the proper essentials and the cueing of a squat. Again, if you have any questions, please place them in the comment section below, and if you have any other topics or questions for videos for the rest of this holiday season, we're going to be doing a lot of them. So, peace, love, and squats. Peace, love, and squats. We'll see you guys soon.